Hello everyone, I am Pratika Patel from Carrot IT Solutions Private Limited. Today I am going to explain you about the inventory valuation in old version 30. Inventory valuation is a very important aspect of a business as the inventory can be the biggest asset of a company. The different cost method we use to value our stock uh, such as the standard FIFO and average costing and uh, we record this value in our accounting books by manually or automatically. Let's start. First we have to set in product category. So click on inventory and the product categories. Let me set the method in sellable software category. I have already set the costing method average costing and the inventory valuation is automated these are the costing methods and the inventory valuation by manual or automated i have selected the automated and after this we have to put this uh, account stock properties like stock input account stock output account stock valuation account like that and save it let's do create one product Accounting software, product type is stock storable product, and the product category is for software or sellable software. After selecting the product category, we can see that the cost we did not uh, add the cost or we did not put any cost value over here. So save it. Let me create the purchase order for the same purchase. And uh, create the purchase order. It's a pre vendor and the software. The price is uh, 400 and save it. Confirm the order and the receipt order. Let me check in the product. Click on the product and you can see that the cost is automatically updated over here. It's a 400 per unit. Let me create the another purchase order and check what's happening. So I have just duplicated this order and the quantity is 10. And I have set the price is 350. Save and confirm order. And the CD products validate. Let's check in product, and we can see that the cost price is 354.55 per unit. So this is a, this is called the average costing method. Now let me check in the accounting. Let's check in accounting and the reporting balance. Is uh, as of now, it's fully that is okay. And unfold all after unfold entries, we can see that the stock interim received, delivered, and stock valuation and the amount will display over here. So we can see the stock valuation over here. We also can see the journal items or journal ledger or annual entry. So this is how we can use the inventory valuation uh, in Odoo version 13. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.